Hi everyone, I am Amy Vetter, and welcome to the Breaking Beliefs Podcast, where anything can be possible, because when you believe you can, you will. This series is all about getting honest with ourselves and noticing the things that we carry with us. We each have our own life experiences to go from, and sometimes it's hard to truly understand what it's like to be someone else. What we can do to create change is to start with us. If each of us took one action each day in our own lives, we can collectively change the world around us. But what does it take? It takes work, it takes practice, and we have to be honest with ourselves as we get there. Hi everyone. Today for our B3 break, I want to talk about saying no. No can often be the most empowering and compassionate thing that you can do for yourself and those people around you. When we look at our calendar in the morning and start seeing that half hour after half hour, hour after hour is stacked with meetings and we start feeling stress rising up in our bodies, then that is the moment that we need to step back and look at our calendar and ask, what can we say no to? As long as we're looking at prioritization and making sure that we are keeping the most important meetings on our schedule, but also looking at what is actually stealing from me today because I have certain work that I need to get done and maybe I want to do something, but is it absolutely necessary for me to do it so that I can conserve my energy and make sure that I am making a positive impact on the people around me? If I feel like that test cannot be met with a certain meeting, that is the time to say no to that meeting today and maybe reschedule it for tomorrow, the next day, or whenever else it may work. I have the same issue that I wanna do everything and I wanna please people, but it's really important that we figure out where we can get those blocks of time, even if we have nothing to do, just to reset. Because the thing is, when we start going from meeting to meeting to meeting, and we're doing things that are actually taking from our energy, we don't show up to those meetings in the way that we want, and often can leave those meetings feeling that we weren't at our best. So take a look at your calendar each morning and ask yourself, what can I say no to? And even if it's just a goal of one meeting, one thing a day that you are going to release from your schedule so that you can get the things done that you need to do, feel better about the way that you show up so you can be better for the people around. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen to the Breaking Beliefs podcast. I hope you will take a moment to pause before entering back into your day to reflect on this podcast and note one to two actions you are inspired to do from today's conversation that you could incorporate into your life. To read the full blog and listen back to this episode or any other, you can find them at www.amyvetter.com forward slash breaking beliefs podcast and related videos on my YouTube channel. For daily inspiration, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn at Amy Vetter CPA. I hope that you will choose to like this and subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and more so that you can join us for more inspiration on our next episode.